Hello everyone, welcome you back in my geography class. Today we will continue with the chapter of natural resources of class 4. In our last video, we have discussed about the four renewable natural resources that are soil, water, forest and animals. Today, in this video, which is a part of the last video, we are going to discuss about the two non-renewable natural resources that are minerals and fuels. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started with minerals. Let us know about the minerals. What are minerals? Rocks on the earth are made up of substances and these substances are called the minerals. The minerals are another important natural resources. From where we obtain the minerals? We obtain the minerals from the earth's surface. The minerals that are obtained, they are in an impure form. That means these minerals have impurities. They are not in their pure form. So the minerals as they are obtained in an impure form, they are purified later so that we can get pure form of the minerals. We get different metals from the minerals such as iron, copper, aluminium, gold, silver. Other than these metals, we also get diamonds, mica and limestone from minerals. Now moving ahead with the next natural resource that are fuels. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are also obtained from the earth and these are called the fuels. Coal and petroleum are called the fossil fuels which take years to form. They are formed from dead plants and animals which were buried under the soil millions years ago. So we can say that it took 1 million years to form and that is why they are called the non-renewable resources as they are limited in supply, take years to form and can get exhausted by human use. Fuels provide us with energy. Without fuels, how our cars will run? Without fuel, how we will cook food? So fuels are very important means of natural resources. But these fuels, as we have learned, these are non-renewable resources. That means if they get depleted, they will take millions of years to form and they are limited in supply. So it is important to save the fuels. Now what should we do to save the fuels? To save these resources, we should depend more on the renewable resources because renewable resources are available in abundance. They are not available in limited supply like the non-renewable resources. Renewable resources do not create pollution, thus they do not affect environment. Renewable resources are not depleted with the use of human beings and if they get depleted also, it will not take millions of years to form back again. So to save the non-renewable resources, we should depend more on the renewable resources like on the solar energy, on the wind energy so that these resources can be conserved for the future generation. I hope all of you understood the topics that we have discussed in today's video. We have discussed about minerals and fuels which are the non-renewable natural resources. We can well understand that how important it is to conserve these non-renewable resources because they are available in a limited amount and they take millions of years to get replenished. That means to form back again so that our future generation can also utilize these resources. And how can we do it? How can we save the non-renewable resources? We can save the non-renewable resources by searching alternative renewable sources of energy which are available in abundance in our nature. So we can conclude that all these natural resources are very important for the living being. We cannot live without any of these natural resources. Life is not possible on earth without these natural resources. If you still have any problem, you can let me know by just a comment in the comment box given below. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe my channel to watch more videos. Stay tuned. I will be back soon with a new chapter and a new video. Till then, take care, study well and stay safe. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.